There are two ways to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy A36. I'm gonna show you both, and I'm gonna show you how to print them right after. Let's get into the video. Okay, the first way to take a screenshot is simply taking your palm and dragging it from the left to the right across the screen just like this. See that? You'll hear the screenshot sound and you'll get this pop-up at the bottom of the screen. Now the second method is to hold on the power button and volume down button for one second, just like this. Power, volume down, hold, let it go. And there it is. Let me show you one more time. Power, volume down. You're gonna press them together and, and just press, let it go like this. One, two, three, hold, let it go. You'll see it flash, you'll see the pop-up. If you tap on the pop-up, First, it will ask you what app you want to use to edit the screenshot after you take it. I'm going to tap on Gallery and tap Always. And next, we're going to come in and tap on the pencil. And here, this will allow you to make edits to that screenshot. So I can drag from the corners if I want to crop down the picture like this. I can then uh, access different filters or other... Um, Controls like changing the lighting and the white balance. This fourth one gives you the option to draw on the picture. It gives you little uh, pins and an eraser and a highlighter. It gives you stickers and it allows you to add text as well. So you have all these cool things you can add to your picture. And when you're done, go to the upper right corner, tap on the save button, and that will save it to your gallery. Hit save. So that's how you take a screenshot. Now let's talk about how do I print that screenshot afterward, all right? So let's swipe up on the screen here and go to the gallery app. And here we're right into our screenshot that we just took. If I go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots here, I have a print button right at the bottom, tap on print. This will take us to this option here. Now, in order to print, you will need a wireless printer that is turned on and connected to your wireless network. And then you'll need to swipe down from the top of your screen, swipe to your left, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. If this button is lit up in white, it means that your Wi-Fi is on. However, if it's dimmed like this, it means your Wi-Fi is turned on. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi, and this will allow you to then go to select a printer, Tap on the drop down, and the phone automatically found my Epson XP4200. I'm going to tap on that, and now I'm ready to print. I can tap on this print button here, and this will send the picture right to my printer. Now, um, most wireless printers will work. I recommend Epson printers because they're very easy to set up, and they work very seamless with Samsung phones. I will link on screen to a printer recommendation in case you would like to get a wireless printer that will work well with your A36. Now, since we're on the note of printing, I wanna show you also how to print from an email. So let's open up the Gmail app right here, and let's find an email, and I wanna show you how to print it, and then after, I will show you also how to print a web page as well. So, let's go to this email right here. It's just giving us some um, data information. Doesn't matter what it is. Let's just print this email. Go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots. From here, go down to print. And it'll take a few seconds, but it will load in this section. Now you will need to select your printer again, tap on the drop down. All right, and here's our preview. And we can tap on that print button right here to send it to the printer. Now, if you wanna make multiple copies, you can tap on Right next to where it says copy is the number. And here, I can change it, tap on the number, and we can change this to maybe 10 copies instead. You can also change if you want it to print in color or black and white. You can also change it from portrait to landscape here. So these are gonna be all your extra printer options uh, that you'll wanna make adjustments to before you print. Now, next, let's go over how to print something from a web page. So I'm gonna to go to the Google Chrome app right here, and I'm already on Amazon, and oh look, there is a Kindle Paperwhite for kids, which is pretty cool, and let's say I want to print this uh, product right here, this whole web page, all this information. Upper right corner, I'm gonna tap on the three dots. Now you'll notice there's no print button in the menu, but don't worry, all you need to do is tap on share, 
and then it'll take you to this screen and this is where you'll find the print button. Tap on print, make sure to select the printer. Now this web page has a lot of pages. I want to say it'll have about 15 or 16. So it will take a little bit of time for that preview to load. You can either be patient and just let it load or you can tap on that drop down, tap on save as a PDF. And this will usually make the preview load faster, just like this. And then tap the drop down again, go back to your Epson. Your print button is here, and now you're ready to send it to the printer. Now, you can also go through and you can uncheck certain pages. Maybe you say, oh, I don't need these pages. There's a little checkbox in the bottom right corner of each page, and you can simply uncheck the pages that you don't want to print. That's another little pro tip. And that's how you print your web page. So this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I have more videos coming on the Samsung Galaxy A36. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those important updates. Uh, also, if you got value out of this video, please bump that like button down below. Here I'll link to my playlist that will have my other A36 videos. And here I'll link to another really helpful video. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.